So today, Marine Le Pen's Nationalist Party in France wins the first round of the elections. Marine Le Pen also wins a majority of 58% in her own area, so she's been re-elected as an MP. And France has had their biggest election turnout in the past 40 years, showing the true passion for this election, the true how they all really want to make a massive change. We've got Antifa rioting, showing the left hypocrisy yet again. We've also got the Muslims rioting, and to be fair, I understand why they're rioting. However, this is going to cause a never-ending cycle. The far left on X think that they can tell the French what to do. So that's everything I'll be covering today. Enjoy the show. So this really does show to the true scale of what the left call the rise to the far right. This is no song, this is no Ausländer Raus like in Germany. This is no poll, this is no stickers or protest. This is a real election. People want nationalism, people want to say no to globalism, people don't want the open borders. And to be honest, this shouldn't come as a shock to you, this shouldn't be surprising. Mass immigration is always going to lead, think about it, import the third world, become the third world. This is not supposed to be a controversial statement. That's just sort of how it is. It's just sort of the reality of things. If you import the third world, you become the third world. France has been heading in that direction. And you can be a French patriot and still admit that. You can admit that the political elite has failed your country and you have been at a rapid decline. True patriotism comes when you say, enough is enough, we're going to change it. So it's always bound to happen, it's a natural backfiring of the globalist plan. The globalists want mass immigration. Mass immigration never works. People get angry, so then people call out globalism. So it's a natural backfiring of the globalist plan. Antifa is again out there showing the hypocrisy of the left. January 6th is bad, but they can riot and loot about an election that isn't even finished yet. Fascism is bad, but they can deny the legitimate result of a democratic election. Again, it's not unexpected, you know, when mass immigration comes to the country, people get angry. When people get angry, come protest, we want mass deportations, and Tifa are there, ready, wanting to cause chaos. We want to deny common sense, we want to deny this, call it racist, say it's uh, the rise of Hitler once again, and just have a bit of a riot, because that's all Tifa really want. So as I said, Muslims have taken to the streets in riot, in protest, just as extreme, launching fireworks and little mini bombs, whatever they're doing fighting with the police, massive riots yet again. And I understand why. There's millions of these people in France. There's millions of Muslim foreigners in France. The party that wants mass deportation of millions of them is about to be elected with an absolute majority. So of course they're gonna riot. The issue is, nobody cares. Nobody cares what these people think. They're not French, it's the French elections. The French elections is supposed to be the elections for the French. You're settling there, you're there, to sit there and go, okay, this is France. This is the way it is. I'm going to have to abide by their laws, by their rules, and how they live their lives. If they don't want you anymore, so be it. You don't have a right to reside in a country. If I went to any other country, they can kick me out whenever they want. I don't have to say it. I have to abide by that. If I'm a British citizen, let's say I want to go live in Japan. Japan has strict immigration standards. If I go and say the wrong thing, if they have a rule that you can't say this thing about the COVID, you know, if you go and say that, I can't sit there and complain if I say that thing and get kicked out of the country. It means it, it's my fault. I have to abide by their laws. So if the French have now decided mass immigration ain't working, the democratic will of the French people is to remove millions of people, they can't sit there and cry, human rights, human rights. No, no, you have your own country, which you are a citizen of, and will accept you at any time. You can go back. Nothing's stopping you. Nothing stop you from having your human rights. You don't have a, reside, a, a right to reside in the country. That's how it is. And I was thinking, is this a never-ending cycle? As I said, mass immigration happens. Things like murder, rape, just random attacks, stabbings, uh, attacks on children as well at schools. Uh, the economy suffers. When that happens, people get angry. So when, that, when people get angry, people will protest in their own way, whether that is a song, whether that is by the election. When that happens, these Muslims get angry. They don't like that, and, and justifiably so. Of course they would. Uh, again, as I said, nobody cares. So what then happens, they go and riot. They go and cause more destruction. They go and do these attacks even more, further proving the right wing, further proving the case for deportations. So then even more people go and vote in the election because more people have awoken and realised, ah, these guys are crazy. These people are barbarians. So then they get even more support for the mass deportations, and then they go and riot again, do it even more, do it even more. So it's just this never-ending cycle. Well, maybe it's not a never-ending cycle. It's a cycle that ends once remigration happens. 
but it's also an inevitable cycle. And if that is an inevitable cycle, then remigration is inevitable. Think of the hypocrisy here, okay? People like Sam Melia get put in jail for two years for putting up stickers saying it's okay to be white. So one minute the prisons are full. Prisons are full. We can't put rioters in jail. We cannot put rapists, murderers, attackers. We can't put them in jail or they can't finish their full sentences. But we can put political prisoners in jail. So these people rioting in France, the, the Muslims, they won't get a single day in jail. And by the way, when I'm talking about what's happening in Britain, I almost can guarantee you it's happening in France. Because guess where else it's also happening? Germany. There was a story just recently. Nine or ten foreign men in Germany raped a 15, 16 year old girl. Now a woman found the phone number of one of these guys and messaged him, calling him a dishonourable rapist pig. She spent the weekend in jail. All nine attackers, yep, you guessed it, unpunished. Nothing happened to them. So see the hypocrisy. One minute jails are full, can't put people in prison. Next minute it's like, you know, oh, well, we're empty. Political prisoners can just, all oh, you can go in jail. See where that is? It's disgusting. One day when I'm in power, I'll create a whole new prison for 10,000 people and every single one of them. It will be the COVID criminals. It will be the non-governmental organisations or lobbyists who push mass immigration and the lawyers. It will be these people, it will be these politicians who allowed this to happen. Now finally, we got people on X trying to tell the French what they can and can't do. We got someone living in America, I believe. So we're un-American, totally nowhere near France. I hope I'm wrong, but at this point, I genuinely think that Le Pen's party will keep getting bigger until they get into power. And only then will their stupid policies backfire on its voters. And then he later claims in the replies that immigration isn't actually a problem in France. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? So supposedly, Le Pen is manipulating voter concerns about immigration to get into power. But then at the same time, immigration is not really a problem. So essentially half of, French, half of the French are stupid and are absolute idiots who don't have any idea what's happening in their country. But this guy in America really knows what's up. Look, I don't know what's going on in France. I don't know absolutely everything. Now does this guy. But I'm going to assume that if 40% of you want mass deportations of millions of foreigners, I'm guessing that something about your day-to-day -day, day -day life, you're living in France in real time, experiencing what it's like to have a country where you've had mass immigration. You might be 30, 40 years old. You originally grew up in a place in France. You it was almost a different country. There was no mass immigration. It was normal. It was just French. And now you've seen this massive change happen. You've seen, oh, now I know people that have been made victims of these disgusting attackers. And now you're starting to realize this is a big problem. So you're now voting for the party that is going to make change. I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm not going to pretend. I don't think any of us in other countries should be pretending to know your, you know, exact feelings. But we're going to guess if we have a bit of common sense that there must be a genuine problem. I'm going to trust you that there is. You're living in there. If you're French, then that's what you want. Go and cast your vote, your democratic will. This other person says, uh, dear France, if you want to know what happens when a country lurches to the right, see the UK. Everything's broken, we're now a tribal, angry country because the government constantly creates wedges and plays to the right-wing gallery instead of fixing things. Don't do it, please. So I've responded with a quote retreat. My dear friends, Britain is not right-wing. We have open borders, there's woke indoctrination in every school and anyone with a bit of common sense is called a fascist. We have the same, but worse. Both of us need a huge lurch to the right, especially yourselves. Everything has gotten significantly worse since we abandoned right-wing conservative values for whatever corrupt system we have now. Please vote for your Nationalist Party and make France great again. Some idiot has replied, We have quite literally had right-wing conservative values for the last 14 years. Trying to say, well, the Conservatives have been in power for 14 years, so we've had conservative values and right-wing. Add a couple of years to Brexit to that, and can you honestly say that things are good after all that time? Uh, so I've made my point of how we actually are more left-wing than we were before the Tories took power. Uh, corporations woke, big investors are all woke, schools are full of indoctrination, and I say this as someone that is a 15-year-old going through the public school system. Wide open borders, Parliament as a whole, as an entirety, is more left-wing in comparison to when Labour were last in power, because this misconception of woke Conservatives have been in power, so we've been more of a Conservative country than before. You're forgetting that when you get elected, it's not just you in power, there's all the other parties. All the parties as a whole have became more left-wing. So as a whole, parliament, government is more left-wing. 
Society has adopted more and more left-wing values and abandoned right-wing values like family, for example. We're softer on crime than ever before. Massive government overreach during COVID. It was a totalitarian communist power grab. Uh, government spends money, taxpayer money, on climate change. U.S. and low-emission zone schemes in multiple cities. Government funds oppressive climate change organisations such as C40Cities and UK Fires. The only right wing to ha- the only right wing thing to happen in this country in the past fourteen years is maybe Brexit, and that still hasn't even been completed. Britain has undoubtedly become a mostly left wing country. It's not as simple as conservatives have been in power, so the con- so the country is conservative. So look, France, you've got your democratic vote. You're going to vote for the country that has the mass deportations, and you're going to get what you want. I hope you get what you want. I wish you luck with the mass deportations. I wish you luck with everything that you seek to get. I hope you make France great again.